Probably open your eyes, look down. Keep the gaze soft. And we're just going to inhale the arms up. And then exhale down. A few times we'll do this as we embrace the day. Inhaling, raising the arms up. Feel the energy flowing through the fingertips. And use your breath to encourage your movement. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling softly. Feel like you're resisting the air. Keep energized through the feet. Don't sink into the floor. Feel yourself lifting. Inhaling up. Slowly exhaling down. So next time we're going to inhale up, we're going to twist to one side. So keep your hips square and we're just going to twist to the side. Inhale through the center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale. Try and feel the rotation below the belly button and through the shoulders by keeping still with your feet. Exhaling. So a few more, just gentle movement to start the day, warm up the body. And next time we're going to bring the arms up, we're going to grab a hold of the right hand and pull it to the side. Beautiful. Come through the center and go the other way. And then slowly coming through the center, interlacing the fingers behind your back, bend your knees and keep your elbows bent as well. And we're slowly going to fold forward. So keep your elbows bent here, bend the knees and relax your head down. So it's sort of like a modified forward bend. Keep energizing through the big toes. Slowly release through the hands. Take them down on the floor or a block. So if this is too low for you, you can use the block to give you some height. And then bending one knee at a time. So just pedaling your feet. Try to keep your chest upright. Just gently moving into the hamstrings, the hips. Move as you breathe. Maybe some clicks and cracks through your knees here. So from here, we're going to step the feet a little bit wider now and bend one knee at a time. If the block is too low here, you can also bring it up like this. Wonderful support to keep your back upright. So a little bit deeper into the hips. I hope you can hear the birds. <laughs> Keep breathing and moving. So remember, this is an energizing practice. So bend both knees now. Come through the center, bending both knees, lifting the chest forward. Sink the hips a little bit lower. Keep the knees wide. So we're like in a supportive squat. And then take the hands into the heart center and slowly coming up. Put the block away. Come to the front of your mat. Bring the hands into the heart center. 
Going to take a deep breath in and flow through some sun salutation. So inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, slowly folding forward. I really recommend keeping your knees bent here. Relax your head forward completely. Going to do it really slowly. Inhaling, flat back. Exhaling, slowly stepping your feet back and bringing the knees down. Keep the elbows in and keep the hips up. Bring the chest down to the floor. Elbows in. Come through into Sphinx pose. Lift the chest. We're still warming up the body here. Take the hands wide and we're slowly going to pulse our spine here. So inhaling and exhaling. Creating a wave with your spine. Try and keep active through the feet. Slowly, when you come down, bring the hands by your body and we're going to push up. Come to tabletop and rock your hips side to side. So just gentle rocking. Waking up, good morning. From here, tuck the toes under. We're going to come into a squat and rock your hips side to side again. So gently feel your lower back releasing. I just had one of our students come and pick up a bolster and um, she said that for the first time since she started coming into the studio she had to go and see a chiropractor last week because her back was so sore but since she's been coming to the studio she didn't have to go anymore from going twice a week to not going at all and now that we're unable to do full-time classes and she can't always make the classes She's got two young kids and uh, it really started weighing up again. So slowly bring the knees down. Walk your hands forward and we're going to come into downward facing dog. So paddle your feet here and start lifting the buttocks towards the ceiling. Walk your feet side to side. Lay your hips. One more breath. Now we're slowly going to look forward. Bring the right knee towards the chest, towards the forehead, and then step it forward. And then bring the left foot forward. Inhaling up. So it's just like a little warm up sun salutation. Let's do a full one now. So inhaling, exhaling, keep your knees bent, exhaling down. Lift your sitting bones towards the sky, relax the head. Inhaling, flat back. Exhaling, grounding the hands. Stepping back, bring the knees down. Keep the hips up, drop the chest towards the floor, elbows in, caterpillar, inhaling through, upward dog. Exhaling back, downward dog or child's pose. Slowly stepping forward. So the way I like to do this is bring the left knee towards the chest and towards the chin and then step it forward. 
That's it. Well done. And then bring the right foot towards the left. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Embracing your beautiful breath. Inhaling, lifting the chest, lifting the arms. Exhaling, folding forward. Keeping your knees bent. Relax your head down. Inhaling, flat back. Exhaling, ground your hands, stepping back. Knees down, elbows in, chest down, caterpillar. Scoop through, upward dog, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Nice. Exhaling back, downward dog, three breaths. Or your variation of child's pose. Slowly look forward, step the right foot forward, left foot forward, inhaling up, exhaling down. Bring the hands into the heart center, close your eyes, stabilize your breath, relax your shoulders. Take a few moments. So when you're opening your eyes, keep the gaze soft and step the left foot back. So we're stepping the left foot back into warrior one and taking the arms sideways like this. Squeeze the shoulder blades here, bend into the front knee, bend into the hips. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Now you can straighten the elbows. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly releasing your hands. Taking the left hand down. Pivoting on the back foot so the heel is up. And lifting the right hand up so you're in a twist. Look up and breathe. Slowly looking down, take the right hand down, inhale, open the left hand up. So you're in Parsha Kanasana. Breathe. Keep the back leg energized. And then looking down slowly, lifting up to warrior two. Look at the back hand, make sure it's right behind you, look to the front. Bend into the front knee. Take a deep breath in, reverse warrior. Slowly looking forward, bring the hands into the heart center, step to the front of the mat, come into a squat. Let's take a few breaths here. Beautiful, so energize through the feet, Lift yourself back up. Inhale the arms up. Come to standing in prayer position, Tadasana. Slowly, let's step the right foot back into warrior one. Take the arms wide, squeeze the shoulder blades. If it really hurts your knee here, you can lift the back leg and bring the hips to the front, like this. This is a really nice variation, like a nice standing long lunge. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. So from here, we're taking the right hand down and coming into the twist, lifting the left hand up. And slowly looking down, swapping hands. Opening to Parvakanasana. The back heel can be up or down. Look up if you can. Tuck the chin in, lengthen the back of the neck. From here, we're going to come up to warrior two. Look at the back hand, make sure it's right behind you. Look at the front. Reverse warrior. Good. Nice strong leg work. Come to the front of the mat, maybe with a bit of a wobble, and come into a squat. Let's take a few breaths. Slowly energize through the feet, come up. So down. Stay at the front of the mat. And we're going to put all the weight into the left foot. So make sure your hips are not doing this kind of thing. Keep your hips square. And we're going to bring the right leg up towards the chest. Now find a spot to stare at and then slowly we're going to take the left hand on the hip and opening the right knee out. Look to the opposite side of the knee. You might have a little wobble. Very good, you can always use the wall. Come through the center, bring the knee into the chest. Slowly bring the foot behind you, grab it with the right hand, press the foot into the hand, bring the left hand into a mudra. Dancer pose. Breathe. The leg is still up, coming through the front and coming into like a modified pigeon pose. Sink into the hips. Beautiful. Slowly coming up. Bring the knee into the chest again. Take the hands onto the hips, extend the leg forward. <laughs> up high that's it Thanks. slowly release well done give your hips a little shake give your legs a bit of a shake we've still got the other side to go so bring the feet together find your tadasana And this should be, the leg should be pressing so hard into the floor that should, you should feel like a little dimple here. Put all the weight into the right foot and take the left knee up. Breathe. A good tip here is to find a spot to stare at. Slowly opening the knee and looking to the other side. Nice. And then coming through the center. Woo! <laughs> coming through the center and bringing the foot behind you. Press the foot into the hand and take the right hand forward.
It's funny because I'm talking on a microphone, so when people pass by, they can't really hear me. <laughs> so they always look, oh, what is she doing here? Oh, she's doing a video. <laughs> and then slowly coming forward, take the foot just over the knee, sink into the hips. Awesome. A little bit lower. Nice. And coming up, take the knee into the chest. Hope you feel the heat. <laughs> nice. Taking the hands onto the hips, extend the foot forward. Keep the chest upright. So try not to lean back like this. Keep your body upright. That's it. Bring the foot higher. Slowly release, well done guys. Whew, that was hard for me too. <laughs> awesome. So let's come down to the floor and come to sitting. So sit on both of your sitting bones and lift the knees towards the chest. Bring the, feet, the shins parallel with the floor. Roll the shoulders down. Navasana, both pose. Getting the abs in there, heating up. Slowly crossing the legs and take the hands by the side of the body here, in line with the knees and push yourself up. Squeeze the belly in, curl. Beautiful, and then slowly releasing. Finding your sitting bones again and bringing the shins parallel with the floor. We're going to release one hand, keep the chest upright, release the other. Breathe. Beautiful. Cross the legs, um, hands in line with the knees, lift the chest up. Sorry, the hips. Lift the hips up off the floor. Release. Navasana, void pose. So, one more time, we're bringing the shins parallel over the floor, dropping the shoulders down, and we're going to extend one leg. So we're still holding the legs and just extending one. Well done. And then the other. I hope you guys are still all with me. <laughs> nice. If you're in, when you're in class and you're slacking off, see, I told you, oh, but I'm starting to cut now. <laughs> nice. Stay with me. So we're just swapping, really trying to keep your back upright here. And then bring the knees a little bit closer into the chest, shins parallel with the floor, take both hands to the side. Breathe. Awesome. Cross the leg, the other leg over, lift up. Well done, guys. Come to your knees to tabletop. So rock your hips side to side. Bring the knees under the hips, the hands under the shoulders. We're slowly going to walk the knees together and bring the right foot up towards the ceiling. Pulse five times. One, two, three, four, five. Stay there. And maybe, maybe, grab the foot with your left hand. If you've grabbed it, try and press the foot into the hand, open the shoulder. Lift up. Breathe. Well done. Slowly release the hand down to the floor and thread that knee all the way through. Extend the left leg back. We're going to rock side to side. Nice, gentle release. So 
from here, we're going to find the center, press on your hands, come into a plank, hold your plank. Let's take five breaths in the plank. You can bend the elbows a little bit. Curl your lower back. Bring the knees down to the floor, knees together, and we're going to bring the left foot up. Pulse five times. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Stay here or take the right hand, grab the left foot, press the foot into the hand, lift up. Breathe. Slowly release the hand down, bring the knee through, extend the right leg back and rock side to side. break for you guys, this one. One lucky last plank. Come on, we can do it. Plank. Curl your lower back. Come a little bit more over the hands. Three more breaths. Come on, you can hold it. Even if you're shaking, you're doing great. Your body is strengthening. I'm shaking, so <laughs> nice. Slowly release the knees down. Ah, thank God. <laughs> Interlace the fingers behind your back. Open the chest. And we're going to bring the head down and roll on the head. Bring the palms over. Slowly release. Well done. Give your hands a little shake. And we're going to interlace the fingers like so and press them out. Take a deep breath in. Lift the hands up in line with the ears if you can. Slowly release, face the fingers forward, open, the chest, squeeze the shoulders, beautiful, slowly coming up, come to tabletop and extend the left hand out, spread it under the right armpit and lean onto your left ear. I like to be on a tripod on the right hand here and lean your hips towards the center. From here, maybe, <laughs> you can stay here or extend the right hand up. Maybe extend the right leg back and maybe even lift it up. <laughs> Wonder if anyone's rolling here. Bring the leg down, bring the hand down. <laughs> well done, guys. Before we do the other side, we're just going to roll the hips around gently. So, really remember it to take this easy, yeah? And do what you can. Don't take it too seriously. If you can't do it, that's awesome. At least you tried. Just try and have a bit of fun with it. And then come through the center, roll the other way. 
The yoga practice can become very serious and I definitely know that I sink into those serious modes, but it's fun to have a to lighten it up a little bit and explore different aspects of it. When I went to India, my um, teacher there, um, he just laughed the whole time we were doing the practice and we were chatting, but um, yeah, the practice felt so deep and so spiritual. Okay, so let's find our center here. Come over the hands and take the right hand out this time. Thread it under the left armpit, lean onto your right knee. The left hand is on a tripod and maybe lift the hand up. Try and square the hips to the center, leaning them a little bit to the right. Maybe extending the left leg on the mat first and then maybe lifting it up. It's an interesting balance this one. Takes a little while to master. That's for sure. I rolled in this one a few times. Keep the back leg really strong and extended. Bring the leg down. Bring the hand down. Beautiful. Well done, you guys. Bring the knees wide, toes together. Stretch forward. So extending the hands forward, relaxing the Forehead towards the mat. Resting and lengthening. So for a few of you there, you might want, this is the point where you might want to do your inversion. So whatever your inversion doing, if it's a headstand, tripod stand, or a shoulder stand, you're most welcome to do it now. And I'll show you a few different variations and if you want to practice. For those of you that um, don't want to do your inversion, you can come into a pigeon pose. So the pigeon pose, if you have a bolster, use your bolster. If you don't, just bring one shin forward like so, and another leg back, and stay here for a few breaths. So this is a lovely uh, pose, really goes deep into the hips. Stay there. We're going to hold that for a little while. Those of you that are practicing your inversions, if you're doing your tripod headstand and say you don't have a blanket, you can simply fold your mat in two like so. Your head is on the floor, on the crown of the head, and the hands are behind you like this. Facing forward, keep the elbows squeezing in and then slowly start walking the feet towards the hands, lifting one leg and then the other towards the triceps. From here you can really curl your hips up and see if you can extend the legs up. So if you're practicing this variation, you can come up and down three times and practice this. Or stay in your pigeon pose. You're in your pigeon pose, bring the hips down. So 
So those of you that are practicing their inversions, keep practicing. And those of you that are in the pigeon pose, come roll towards the bent leg, rock your hips side to side. And extend the hips up towards downward dog, paddle your feet before you do the other side. So bring the other shin forward. Rest your forehead on something, a block, a pillow, a bolster. to gently roll towards the bent leg. Those of you that are practicing the inversions, it's time to finish up now. So take it slowly to come down. Maybe rest in child's pose for a few breaths. Then let's all come to downward dog together. And then really slowly looking forward, walking the feet towards the hands and the hands towards the feet. Keep the feet parallel to each other. Relax your head down completely and bend your knees as much as possible. Keep your hands floppy and we're just going to rock side to side. Really let your brain be heavy and pull the, all the vertebrae in the neck down. Relax. Rock your head side to side. Really winding down now. Really give your head a good roll around. And then really gently we're going to come into sitting and come to lie on your back. Bring the feet wide and drop the knees side to side. We're going to come into a twist. Let's do a few gentler twists before we come into our deeper twist. So bring the knees together. Chins parallel with the floor, take a deep breath in. The arms are nice and wide here and exhale, dropping the knees to the right. And then exhaling through the center, dropping the knees to the left. Now inhaling through the center, Dropping the knees into a twist. And to come into a stronger twist here, you simply 
Bring the knees a little bit closer to your elbows. You can roll your head to the opposite side of the knees. Come through the center, square the hips, square the shoulders, and take the right foot over the left knee, so like you're sitting in the chair. Lift the hips up, roll onto the left hip, and drop the knees to the right side. Your head is looking in the opposite direction, close your eyes. Breathe into the back ribs and side ribs, slowing down, getting ready for our relaxation. Slowly coming up, squaring the hips, squaring the shoulders, and winding the knees, and swapping sides. Before you drop the knees to the side, lift the hips, roll into the right hip, and only then drop the knees to the side. If this is too much for your back, just um, stay with the first twist that we were doing. Roll your head in the opposite direction. Slowly coming through the center, bring the knees up, squaring your hips, squaring the shoulders, lengthening the back of the neck, hugging the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Bring the knees towards the armpit area. And then for those of you that can, come into happy baby. Bring the hands on the inside. Grab the outside of the feet. Rock side to side if you want. From here, hug the knees again into the chest. We're slowly going to unroll ourselves, Poshavasana, take a blanket and an eye pillow if you wish. Make sure your tailbone is nice and long on the floor. And I really encourage you to stay here. And this is like your body just soaking in and processing everything that you've done really important part of the practice and I will guide you into a full relaxation. So stay with me. Feel your feet and make sure they're even length. Relax your hips. You can wiggle them side to side making sure they're nice and square. 
If your lower back is a little bit sore, you can put a bolster under your knees. Or another option is keeping the knees bent and the feet wide, leaning the knees onto each other. This is a lovely variation. Hands be tight. Lengthen the back of the neck, tuck the chin in, and the head is resting on a 10 cent. Breathe softly. Scan your body. Let the head sink into the earth. Relax the back ribs and the front ribs. Relax the front. Relax the jaw. The tongue. Relax your lips. Relax the cheeks. And the eyes sink into the sockets. The palms are by your side, facing up, not touching anything. Relax the forehead. Let your whole body sink deep and heavy. Letting go of all the mental activity, allowing the brain to be absorbed into the inner space. Slowly coming back to your body. Allowing your movement to be soft and intuitive. to open up your eyes yet and to roll onto the right side. Pull yourself up and come into sitting position. If you have a bolster, you can sit on the bolster. Close your eyes. Bring your hands into the heart center. And repeat. 
keep yourself the sensation you have set in the beginning of the practice. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you enjoyed the practice. Hope it wasn't too hard for you guys. So leave me a comment. How did you go? Did you wobble and fall? <laughs> I was a bit wobbly today. Oh, look, I put the little cord into my plant. I think we need the three more. How'd you go, guys? How was your practice? Type it in. <laughs> Very under. <laughs> well done, Suzanne. Gloria was your first class in my flow class. That's awesome. Well, hug from Raquel. Thank you very much, Lee. Super session. <laughs> <laughs> Wobbled around. Thank you, Shannon. Beautiful. So I've tried to bring a little bit more grounding and stability into this practice. <laughs> awesome. Well done, guys. Thank you, Jill. And I'm so glad that some of you are trying this class. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Well done, guys. So now uh, we have a class every single day. So Kim is on tomorrow morning um, and Monday. Tuesday we will have Serena. Wednesday night I'm doing a class. Thursday morning Kim. And then, that's a surprise, Amanda will be doing a class, her usual class at 530 uh, on Friday night, her strength and stability. So we'll be filming that this Friday and then Saturday with me. So you have, you can practice every single day. So remember that I am uploading this uh, video onto our Facebook page. So you can repeat it anytime you want. And also there are quite a few new videos in the, our YouTube channel as well so uh, you're welcome to visit and check it out so many greetings to you all lovely to see you thanks for sharing